السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم um, Welcome to a new uh, semester إن شاء الله uh, full of uh, benefits and learning and welcome to a new course which is the machine learning course I usually start my courses with this uh, اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما Oh Allah let us learn what would benefit us benefit us from what we learned and increase us in knowledge and I hope that this will be uh, our goal Also, uh, this one, من سلك طريقا يلتمس فيه علما سهل الله له به طريقا إلى الجنة. Whoever follows a path to seek knowledge therein, Allah will make easy for him a path to paradise. And I hope that this will be uh, our intention. And our goal and our intention, not only in this course, but inshallah in uh, every course that we learn from. Please make sure that you are muted. Um, unless there is a question or, uh, or something that I ask you for, okay? Uh, and if you have a question, please raise your hand. Uh, we'll start now. Welcome to uh, machine learning. This is a um, very exciting field, at least to me. Inshallah, you will, by the end of the, uh, of the course, or at least during the course, you will see how exciting this field is, inshallah. So we'll start with uh, the typical question. Uh, that we can start this course with, which is what is machine learning? What do we mean by uh, machine learning? The easiest definition um, uh, that defines machine learning is the following. Machine learning is about predicting the future based on the past. It looks like magic, right? We predict something in the future based on something that happened in the past, but actually, the more maybe clear definition to that is the following, predicting the unseen based on the already seen. So I will predict something about something that I didn't see yet based on what I have already seen in the past. So let me give you a, a very uh, um, a simple example. I might want to build a system or a machine that will predict your performance in this course. Right. Based on what? Before even you take this course. Or even if you have taken this course, but I don't know, or the machine doesn't know what your performance is, maybe in terms of, uh, of your grade. How can I, uh, I do that? I will check your previous courses. I will check how did you, uh, you do in the previous courses. And maybe how... Uh, did other students do with other courses and based on that I can predict of course I here means the machine the machine can predict what your grade will be in this course so this is the basic definition predicting the future based on the past or predicting the unseen based on the already seen this is the simplest definition of machine learning there are of course uh, uh, many other definitions and we will come over uh, a few of them uh, in uh, in this course, inshallah, later. Now, this is a very growing and fast-moving field. Uh, it has uh, broad applicability in so many directions. Uh, in, in daily life, we have so many fields that uh, machine learning now is applied in, like finance, entertainment, NLP, natural language processing, information retrieval, which is IR, uh, which is my field. Uh, computer vision, robotics, healthcare, medicine, biology, so many fields. And the nice thing about uh, machine learning is that it is connecting theory with practice. It's not just theory. So don't come to this course thinking that it's only about the theory of machine learning and we will not know how this can be applied in real life. Actually, it's the opposite. It is very well connected with the practice. It, it's very well connected with the real applications and we'll see that from this lecture, We'll see so many applications in which machine learning is applied, uh, and we'll see that what we will learn in this course actually is used in our and uh, used and, and you are using actually. It's not just used by others; you are using uh, in your daily life. Um, because it's very broad, it's still open. Um, it's not a closed field. There is lots of uh, of work going on, and if you are familiar with the field, you are hearing. Uh, uh, almost every day, uh, at the new advances with uh, with uh, a branch of, of machine learning, which is deep learning, for example. Uh, so there is a lot of uh, uh, interest and a lot of uh, work, a lot of excitement about the field. 
and with that comes some fear also and we hear that in in the media sometimes that there is a fear that AI or machine learning will replace will will uh, make us uh, uh, will allow us to build the machines that will replace humans uh, some humans will lose uh, their jobs and and maybe uh, machines will attack us at the end something like that so some of the uh, of the fears by this course you inshallah i hope that you will understand what is in the black box of machine learning and by that by that you can answer these or you can address these fears i am not saying that this is a real fear or not but um, but at least you will have an idea of how you can think about these things what can machine learning do what are the applications that we see around us that uses machine learning many applications uh, so ma machine learning can assist you at home uh, you see Siri you see uh, Alexa Google Assistant all of these applications use machine machine learning to uh, um, uh, fulfill your requirements or control even your devices at home uh, it can translate and we we all I think many of us uh, use this uh, translate from so many uh, languages to others in, in a with a very good uh, translation it can estimate the price of your ride when you uh, call Uber or Kareem uh, it will give you a, an estimated price based on what this is applying machine learning uh, monitor uh, unusual behavior either uh, indoor or even outdoor in the streets find you good search results we all use Google or other search engines daily and these engines actually uh, leverage or apply machine learning in so many ways it can predict stock prices up and down every day and even over uh, a long time period can chat with you with the customer uh, uh, service applications it can discover fraud in financial transactions this is very important it can also recommend good stuff for you like good friends or even products to buy uh, on uh, uh, on uh, commercial websites and it can teach robots even how to cook so things like uh, cooking like uh, folding the laundry and and all of that is now uh, as, uh, um, uh, problem open problems for uh, machine learning and, and robotics to uh, to excel in it can even drive your car with the self-driving cars now getting uh, wider and more common this is uh, a clear application of machine learning and AI in general and even more we can say that intelligent machines can even now be smarter than humans so some of you may hear may have heard that um, a machine now was able to beat the best Go player Go is like a uh, Chinese chess uh, so a few years ago um, the mach machines can were, were not able to beat the uh, world champion in Go now we have a machine which is uh, deep, uh, deep mind alpha Go uh, was able to beat the world champion even in question answering in uh, um, uh, TV series like like uh, Jeopardy um, IBM Watson machine was able to beat the best human um, in, in answering questions so it's not just in, in chess like uh, um, games but actually in also in knowledge representation and knowledge uh, understanding so now that you so of course this is these are just example of machine learning applications or applications that uh, uh, that uses or that applies machine learning techniques now let me ask you the question uh, which is what is your favorite application that uses machine learning or that you think uses machine learning but before you answer that let me introduce myself because I didn't yet so um, I will be inshallah the instructor of this course my name is Tamer Sayed this is my email address my office is in the engineering annex building this is the end of corridor G if you are in the main uh, campus um, room 209 which is in the upper floor this is my phone number my research interests my speciality uh, the major speciality is called information retrieval which is the field 
behind search engines, behind the building of search engines and evaluation, evaluating them. The minor speciality is called big data analytics, which is the field uh, behind handling a large amount of data, like uh, millions of, uh, of web pages or millions of tweets, how we can efficiently handle uh, such amount of data. So this is briefly uh, my research interests. Now, a bit of my history. I graduated from University of Alexandria in Egypt in 1997. I also got a master degree in, uh, in Alexandria in 2001. And uh, then I went for a PhD uh, at University of Maryland College Park in the US. I got my PhD in 2009, so it took me seven years. And then uh, I spent one more year at Maryland as a postdoc. If you know, if you don't know what a postdoc means, it means a period for training uh, for those who got the PhD already before they apply for uh, uh, academic positions, uh, like professor positions. Um, so I spent one year uh, after I got my PhD at Maryland as a postdoc. While I was doing my PhD, I had uh, the opportunity to have an, an internship, summer internship at Google in two, uh, 2007. Um, after I spent uh, my postdoc at Maryland, I had another postdoc at uh, KAUST, uh, King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia. That was in 2010. And in 2011, I returned back to Egypt, um, working as a researcher at Microsoft Egypt in 2011. And then I joined uh, Qatar University in 2012 as an assistant professor, and in 2018 as an associate professor. That's um, a quick history. Um, a bit about my teaching style uh, for those who didn't take any courses uh, with me and I think most if not all of you didn't take any courses with me before. I don't know if that's fortunate or not. Um, my teaching style is very uh, simple. I like interaction a lot in class so you will see me asking many questions and I would like also to be asked questions so whenever you have any uh, question about um, anything in the lecture or in the course, just raise your hand and I will find the uh, right time to take your question. Um, and I like also you to be interactive in class, so please don't be shy of answering any question. We are all learning here and we are helping each other to learn. Uh, of course, I hope you will see that more when we get back to face-to-face, -face, inshallah. I hope that will be in next week. Uh, this week was a special case. Uh, unless there is there are other uh, regulations, but uh, inshallah in face-to-face -face, you will see interaction more, you will see me maybe moving uh, in the class a lot. Um, I also like to know and memorize your names, and again this will be uh, evident more in, in class, but here also I would like you to repeat your name whenever you answer or whenever you're talking in, uh, during the lecture, and I would like of course to memorize your names, although the number of students sometimes is is big but I do my best to do that. I like also to give practical assignments and projects and you'll see that inshallah during that course. Uh, I, would, I always uh, like to connect what we uh, learn in class with uh, some real applications that you see uh, beneficial in your life. And as I told you I like to learn and everyone here will learn including myself. I uh, even though I taught the course before twice, um, but every time I teach a course, uh, even either old or new course, I learn uh, something new. I learn something new about the material, I learn something new uh, from the students, uh, I learn something new about how to, uh, um, uh, to teach, and so, so many directions of learning. Uh, um, and I always like to do so, so I hope that you also like to learn. So we'll get back now to what is your favorite machine uh, uh, machine learning application. So please raise, raise your hand if you have something in mind. What is your best application that you are using that you think uses machine learning? Do you know how to raise your hand? I think you used Blackboard uh, before. So I, I like to hear you more than chatting. So. Please raise your hand and then I will call your name to talk to me directly. Okay, Majid? Uh, yes, sir, do you hear me? 
Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I think LinkedIn is uh, is one of the applications that use machine learning. Okay. Um, uh, for jobs, for current jobs, for CVs. Oh, and very stuff. good. So for suggesting jobs, you mean? Yes, yes. Yeah, very good. Okay. So, yes, uh, I agree with you. Uh, LinkedIn uh, uh, job suggestion is, uh, of course, using machine learning to learn um, how it can map jobs to uh, uh, people or to CVs or to profiles. That's a nice uh, application. Thanks, Magic. Uh, yes, sir. Anybody? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Anybody else? Hmm? You are not using any machine learning application in your life? I don't think. Hmm? Anyone? Should I call names? So don't be shy, please. Any, um, I was shy when I was young, uh, but I realized that this is really bad. It, it, I, I, I missed a lot of, lots of opportunities of learning uh, from being shy and from not asking questions. Okay, say it. Um, for example, when uh, YouTube recommends uh, interesting videos and stuff to, yes. to watch videos. Yes, recommending, recommending uh, YouTube videos is, uh, of course, applying machine learning. Yes, thank you, Said. Uh, any, any other types of applications than recommendations? Abdurrahman? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa alaikum. Uh, there is an uh, application in uh, Google Play called Tertil AI. It Tertil? Uses, uh, another, uh, Tertil, yes. You mean called and Tertil? Yeah, yeah. It uses the AI and mm -hmm. machine learning. Yeah. Analyze the audio of the reader and correct the mistakes. Ah, very good. Yes, that's a very nice application. I heard about it also. I didn't use it. Um, uh, yes, but that's... Yeah, I that's use it nice. as well. Okay, very it's good. It's really good. I use it. You are using it, Sayed? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, yes. very nice, very nice. Uh, yes, so this application um, is trained to correct mistakes of uh, uh, of whoever is reciting Quran uh, based on Tajweed rules, I think, and of course based on the uh, the order of the words and in, in ayat. Yeah, that's a very nice application. I also saw someone else raising hand, but I forgot who Ibrahim. Yes, 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 that helps me. Go ahead, uh, I think I think the news on uh, on Google when you enter Google, mm -hmm. they pop some news, interesting news or uh, news you search for before maybe. Uh, you mean uh, uh, suggesting news to you when you when you log yes, in? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's again mm -hmm. kind of recommendation, uh, recommending news mm -hmm. based on what? What do you think, Ibrahim? On, uh, on uh, maybe previous searches or... Yes, based on your interests. You look... Yeah, based yes, on your exactly. interaction with the system and based on your uh, uh, interests also. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a that's good, uh, good idea. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll, we'll, uh, uh, we'll stop here. Uh, uh, but of course, there are so many. So I see fake news detector. I see completion of photos. So, so there are so many applications. Uh, that uh, that machine learning is, is used to. Now, we talked about what is machine learning in general with very simple definition, but what is learning actually? I and mean, when we say machine learning, uh, we know that we are building machines or building systems, uh, but what is learning? What do we mean by learning? So a simple, a simple definition of, of learning is that it is the ability to use previous data to perform future actions. So we see, or we, uh, uh, we are trained, or uh, we analyze data from the past, maybe from our experience, to perform future actions or to make future decisions. So is that uh, analogous to how human learn? I mean, is it comparable to how humans actually learn? Let's see that by an example. So let's think together. Let's focus on this example. Let's say that we are, you are taking this course, right? 
So I hope that you will be learning in this course. So we expect to learn something in this, in this course. So if I ask you, maybe at the end of the course, or maybe now, taking the course, what is a common way to judge how well you do? If I want to say, okay, you learned very well in this course, or you didn't learn much in this course, how can I judge? What do you think? Any idea? Uh, by my grade? No, that, please, please raise your hand. Okay, raise your hand before you talk, uh, because multiple students can might might want to answer. So I will pick one. Anyone? Okay, Majid, even okay, Abdurrahman. Uh, the best way is to examine them using uh, a test or something. Very good. Yes. So by a test. So at the end of the course. This is a common uh, common uh, uh, way, right? So you will do uh, good, or you. I think I will judge that your learning is good if you did well uh, uh, on the exam, right? So there will be a test at the end. Right. Now, since we agree on that, what makes a reasonable exam or test? What uh, um, what characteristics or what features or uh, how the exam should be? If I want to say, okay, this exam really judge your learning, what do you think? Anyone? What makes a good exam? Anyone other than Abdurrahman? We want to hear your voice and, and, and uh, talk to you before I see you in class, inshallah. Okay, Majid? Uh, resume exam, sir, is the exam which come with uh, the exact content that have been learned with. Okay, so, um, okay, fine. Let me let me uh, let me uh, discuss this with you. If I during the course I give you examples, okay, I give you examples. I train you on examples. Okay, you practice with some examples in the lectures and maybe in the in the homework. Then, do you mean that I I the exam, the good exam, should repeat these examples in the. Uh, uh, no, no, I mean, exam. I mean, so the same information. I mean, the same information, not the same examples. Very good, very good. So we agree that uh, if I give you examples in during the course and I repeat these examples in this in in the in the exam, this is not a good exam, right? Yes. Very good. Fine. How about? giving you something that is completely unrelated. Yani, we are um, uh, um, uh, learning machine learning in this course, right? This is the, the course that we are, uh, we are taking. Yes, sir. How yes, about sir. giving you uh, uh, questions about chemistry? Would that be a good exam? No. Of course not. Okay. So we agree that these two things are really giving bad exam. If it has uh, uh, questions that are completely uh, uh, non-representative, of your learning, that's not a good exam. And also, if it has only questions that I asked you before. So that's uh, that's actually memorizing. It's not a good way of testing your learning. So what is the good way? Of, uh, especially, of course, if the, it's an open exam. But what is, what is the best way? The best way, as uh, someone uh, of you uh, uh, said earlier, that I will give you examples in during the course, but then I will give you new uh, questions, but related, related to the concepts that we discussed in the course. So it's not, it shouldn't be the same examples that I showed you uh, uh, previously during the course. Otherwise, I'm testing your mem memory or me your memorization uh, skills. And I cannot also, I should not also give you uh, examples about completely different, uh, uh, different uh, field like chemistry or physics if we are uh, testing on machine learning. It has to be new questions that you didn't see before, but are related to what we uh, discussed in the, uh, in the course. This will test your ability to generalize. And the word generalize here is very important. Okay, the concept of generalization, that from what you see, I want you to generalize. I want the, the person or the machine that we learn to generalize. 
it shouldn't memorize what it saw before. Otherwise, it will not predict something good or it will not do well on anything that it didn't see. So I want it, or I want you, if we are talking about the human here, about the student here, to generalize, to make a model of what we, uh, uh, we discussed in the course and use that model to uh, answer new questions. Okay, so the concept of generalizability or generalization, it's one of the very important concepts that you, uh, you will learn, inshallah, in this course. Actually, if, if you, uh, when you uh, read the textbook, it will say that if there is something, if there is one thing that uh, you should uh, get out of this course, that will be it, generalization. Okay, you need to abstract the machine. Uh, we should train the machine to abstract from the examples it saw so that it can actually handle new examples that it didn't see before. Okay, is that clear, that concept? Any questions so far? Yes, Majid? Sir, so, uh, I want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. If there is a difference between getting a new question and practicing some questions so that we can prepare? Okay. <coughs> if we are, if you are practicing with some questions, okay? And then I, I brought to you in the exam the same questions. Then I'm not testing your learning. I'm not testing your understanding, right? But if I gave you new questions that are somehow related, that are maybe similar, that are related to the topic, okay? Then if you did well on that, then I, am, I can say that your understanding was good or your learning was good, not your memorization. Because if I gave you the same thing, you might have memorized the answer. You will give me the, the answer directly without even understanding. Is that clear now? Yes, yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any other questions? Okay, now I can uh, summarize a, um, a very important and very common type of machine learning, which is called su a su a supervised learning, in just one slide, which is the following one. So we have some examples. So we will do it with the uh, analogy with the learning in the course that we just uh, discussed. We have some examples that we see in during the course. We call these examples training data. Okay, these training data. I will show you the answers to them. I will give you the answers to them. Okay, where are you here in this figure? You are what we call here the learning algorithm. You will learn, okay? You are the machine that will learn, okay? So we have an algorithm that will learn. This algorithm will take the training data, the examples that it see during the course or during the training phase and produce a model, produce some representation, okay? This model actually represent your understanding, represent the understanding of the machine from the training data or represent the understanding of you as a student from the examples that you saw in class. Now, later, after training, I can give you a test example. And now that you have this model, this representation of your understanding, you can use it to predict the answer to this example. Okay, this example is, is called test example or test data. So, I can give the test data now that you have the model, okay, which is present here. Let me change the. Uh, where is it? Yeah, here. Um, um, you can use the model that uh, that you learned, okay, to answer the test question, or you give a new label to a new data, new test data that you didn't see before. This is called now predicted label. Okay, why is it predicted? Because it's, it's giving us something that we didn't see before. Okay, so this is called supervised learning. Why is it called supervised? Because we are giving answers to questions here or labels to training data here. Okay, we are giving very, an abstract, very abstract idea in this slide. Of course, the whole, or not the whole, 
maybe 80% of the course will be explaining this slide in more detail. But this is the main concept here. We are giving some examples for training. You or a machine, now let's talk about the machine. The machine will have uh, uh, to learn from these uh, examples and the outcome of this learning will be uh, uh, represented by a model or a function. You can think of it as a function or a model, just a representation, mathematical representation. By this mathematical representation, I can give it uh, new examples that it did, the machine didn't see before, and the machine now will be able to predict the answer or the label for this uh, example. Let me give you another example here. If uh, I want to build a machine that um, uh, uh, that will see or will get a review on a book, and it should tell me whether this review is positive or negative. This is called sentiment analysis in, in machine learning. Um, so I will show the machine many positive examples, many positive reviews, and many negative reviews so that it can learn from them. And then after the training is done, I will give the machine new reviews that it didn't see before. Still, it, they are book reviews. They are not movie reviews, for example for example, or they are not uh, um, uh, uh, queries that we, uh, we search for. They are just or not long, long documents or uh, chapters from book. They are reviews of books, but these, kind, these uh, specific uh, book reviews were not seen in the training. Now the machine, based on what it saw, what it learned from the training data, it will predict for each of the new uh, uh, testing examples, whether it is positive or negative. Okay, fine. Another example. Um, any question, any quick question now? Before we switch to the, the second example. Fine. Another example is classification tasks. Okay, if I want to write a program or uh, build a, a system to distinguish a picture of me from a picture of someone else. How would I do it? Based on what we discussed now, what do you think? I want to build a system that, uh, given uh, an image or a picture, it will tell whether this is a picture of me, Tamer, or a picture of someone else. What do I need to build that system? What do you think? Based on what we discussed, how can I make uh, the system learning learn okay azam can you uh, talk to me directly pick up the mic please and talk to me azam okay please make all my all all mics yani, yani, okay today i accept that that there's no mic but next time from next time please make sure that all the mic uh, audio mics are uh, enabled okay are, are working okay uh, there's no time actually to read uh, in in the lectures i want to talk to you fine someone else any idea how can we do that Rahim? Uh, maybe save uh, uh, save a picture of you so the machine can train on it okay one compare, picture maybe. different picture from different angles Okay, different pictures from different angles, but for the same, yani, uh, uh, for, same, uh, same for picture, the same person, same person, which is me. Yeah. Okay, so multiple. Yes. Let's say multiple pictures from me. That's it. Mm -hmm. If you want, and if it's your device, you need a picture of you. Of of me only. Type Suleiman. Yes. Thanks, Ibrahim. Suleiman. Uh, yes, doctor. Uh, do you hear me? Yes. Yes. Uh, we can make on the picture like a scanner of the eyes or something so so the program can distinguish your picture according to specific pat uh, patterns okay but again you need pictures of me right yeah okay, yeah it, we can it, take one one of we can take multiple pictures of you very good and okay. uh, we so can this is similar to what uh, I think uh, um... Uh, who was before Ibrahim? Uh, that's similar to yeah. what Ibrahim uh, also suggested. But anything else other than pictures of me? 
Yeah, I, I, I'm saying also we can take the, for example, the sensor of eyes, for example, for each picture. Yeah, but still these are from my pictures, right? Anything other than my pictures, you think we, we need? can use fingerprint, fingerprint also. Okay, but why do we need fingerprints? The the application will only look at the uh, the uh, the the face. Okay, it has just maybe faces. It doesn't have uh, uh, fingers. Okay, thanks, Suleiman. Anybody else? Hmm? How can how can I distinguish or a machine can distinguish uh, me from others if it didn't see others? Okay, so it, it has to see both sides so that it can distinguish between them, right? So I need to provide examples of me, pictures of me, but also pictures of other people so that the classifier can see the difference between them, okay? So it will not be sufficient to give only pictures of me. Okay, I have to give pictures of me that's the class that I'm interested in and pictures of others so that people can see or not people sorry the machine can see the difference between me and others time another example how would you write a program to distinguish cancerous uh, cells from normal cells cells uh, uh, that uh, maybe uh, uh, MRI uh, uh, images uh, with cells that uh, uh, that have cancer and cells that are normal that doesn't uh, that don't have cancers cancer how can i uh, uh, do uh, or how can i build the program like that what do you think okay magic uh, i think so the whole point is to have sort of uh, many examples about all the data about all the cells all the pictures of the, of the cells and compare each one with another so that i have like a cancerous cell and a normal cell. So when when we scan the normal cell, it will it will appear that it's it's normal. It's not I can say it's, it's not the highest okay. dots, so, for so example. You need the two or types. Right? You, you need the two yes, types. Yes. At least the two types. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So here we need the two the example of two types again: the cancerous uh, uh, cells and normal cells. Okay. And maybe can, uh, 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 cancer cells. Maybe you need also multiple. You know, of course, you need as many as you can, uh, and, and as we will see in the course, as you give the machine more examples to learn, it will learn better. And this is also, we see it in, as, as humans, right? As we are practiced more, as we are trained more, we get more experience, it, we, uh, uh, we have better performance at the end. Right, let's try that. Let's try that. Um, I will give you now a task. And I want you to be a classifier. So the examples that we talked about, uh, uh, whether the, uh, the picture one or the, the cells, the cancer cells one, they are called classification because we are trying here to classify between different types. Now, I want you to do this classification yourself. Okay? I will show you, without giving you any description, some images from class, I will call it class A, and other images, I will call it class B. And I want you, and then after you see examples here and examples there, I will show you new examples, and I will ask you to predict from which class each example came from. The new examples, of course, not the ones that, uh, that I gave you in the, in the beginning. Okay? So you understand what, what we will do now? I'll show you two sets of images, one for class A, one for class B, and then a third set, and I will ask you to tell me for the third set, each one, which, which class it belongs to, A or B. So you tell me, this one is A, this one is B, this one is A, this one is B. Okay, ready? Okay, so this is the examples of class A. We have four examples here. This is class A, okay? So look at them, learn something from them, okay? So that's class A. Then this is class B, okay? So that's class B. 
done خلاص then this is again class A and this is class B now you are ready to see the examples so these are with labels right these are examples <coughs> with labels why is that because I, I told you for each one whether it's from class A or class B right these are class B and the others uh, uh, are from class A now I will give you four new images and ask you to tell me which class each belongs to. Here are the images. Okay, raise your hand if um, if you want to predict. If you if you are done with your learning and and your prediction as a classifier, and you are ready to give me the labels. Okay, Ibrahim. Uh, so the the cat will go to class B. Okay. And the I don't know the name of it. So the top right top, picture. Top will, right, this one. It will it will also go to class B. Okay. And the other and the remaining two will go to <coughs> will go to class A. So top left class A. And bottom right will go to class A. And bottom right class A. Okay, um, based on, okay, so before I ask you, okay, thank, thanks, Ibrahim. I, maybe I will, I will come back to you later. Anyone agrees with Ibrahim? So Ibrahim said that this is class, uh, uh, I think you said this is A and this is A, right? Okay, so this, yes. yeah, these are A and the cat and the uh, top right uh, are class B. Anyone agrees with Ibrahim? Raise your hand, please, if you agree with Ibrahim. Okay, Ahmed, Muhammad, Azam, all agree with Ibrahim. Okay, anyone else? The others disagree with Ibrahim? Time. Let me ask then. Um, uh, Azam has no mic, I think. Uh, Muhammad. Who raised his hand? Muhammad. Um, why do you agree with Ibrahim? What is the what is the idea here? No, Ahmed or Muhammad? Okay. Type Ahmed. Ahmed, do you agree with her with them? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Why? Why Ahmed? Yani, how, how did you get it? Because class A was uh, was birds, so hmm. class B was uh, uh, land non, non birds, others, right? That that's that's your your idea, right? Ahmed, Ahmed, we don't hear you. Okay. Uh, Doctor, it was freezing for me. I don't know. What. Uh, no problem. Okay, so you you're saying that the class A was bird and class B was others, non birds. Right, and this is, I think, also uh, opinion of Ibrahim. So that's the first. It was land, land animals, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So bird or not? Yeah. That's the that's the idea here. Okay. Thanks. Um, anybody else? Anybody has other idea? Anybody has other idea? Magic. Magic. Uh, sir, uh, I think. Mm -hmm. the the top the top left the top left is bird but the others are mammals like um it, like the penguin doesn't fly so it doesn't consider as a bird okay doesn't fly okay um so so maybe we can think of it a di in a different way right whether um whether the yes. animal flies or not can we say that Uh, animals can't fly, sir. Like even even. Uh, I mean, even bird, even the are, one with, who has wings, like but, but doesn't fly. Like. But birds are animals, right? The to ostrich, like the ostriches. Measured, measured. Birds are animals, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean mammals, sir. Ah, I mean, okay. I mean mammals, sir. Like, okay, okay, okay. If, if we if we can say like mammals, uh, yeah. Mammals. Uh, not sure if 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 birds are. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I understand your point, but okay. 
Um, so if that's the case, then then this one is class what A. So what is what are your predictions? Uh, this class A, yes. Uh, I think so. Like. Uh, Top right and the bottom right and the bottom left are class B and the, to the top left is class A. Okay. Assuming that this is a moment. So, uh, uh, right? It jumps, but it doesn't fly. Like, it jumps, but it doesn't fly. Okay. Okay. But how about fly or not fly? I think some of you maybe have thought about that. Okay. So, if, if that's the model, if that's the model that some of them uh, class a fly and class b doesn't fly if if we think about it if we go back so those are flying and those are not flying okay then we can have a different predictions so we can say that this is class a this is class a because it seems like it flies and this is class b and this is class b because both don't fly Right? So that's another model, or we call it another hypothesis. Okay? So two different people, or not two, maybe ten different people can think of it different way. Actually, I have a third hypothesis. So the first one was bird or not, the second one was flying or not, and, and, and some of you also to, uh, uh, talked about uh, being mammals. I have a third one that I don't think anybody of you got any guess yes ibrahim uh, maybe uh, like uh, i don't know how to say it. Uh, like a potatoes or not the what uh, like a, uh, a predators predators uh, i don't yeah. uh, but <coughs> you have the knowledge about that i i don't have the knowledge um, so let me let me uh, see Ahmed. You have any uh... maybe feathers or uh, fell? Feather will fell. What do you mean? Oh, fur, not uh, fell. What, what what's that? Fur will fell. Fell. Ah, fell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like the cat, cat, cat has fur and yeah, yeah, but, uh, birds uh, have uh, feathers. But uh, feather, you mean rich, يعني تما rich يعني يعني بيطير. Yeah, yeah. Well, نفس الحاجة نفس الحاجة بتاعت الطيران يعني that's not new. Okay, so let me yeah, because, similar, of, similar. because of the time, let me tell you a third one. Okay, the third one is whether the background is in focus or not. So. You see in class A, let me, let, let's get back to class A. Class A, the background is not in focus at all. In all of the, uh, of the examples. Okay? In class B, the background is in focus. We can see clearly the background. Okay? Time. So that's a third hypothesis. Why we are talking about all of this? I want to uh, tell you that every learning algorithm so what what we did together now is kind of trying to learn from the examples using some hypothesis some assumption in our mind every learning algorithm has its own bias we call this inductive bias hypothesis way of thinking about the examples way of extracting patterns from examples this this is why we will learn or we will study or this is why in machine learning there are many learning models each of them have has its own hypothesis or has its own bias and and what we actually did together with this simple example is that we saw that different people have different way of thinking different biases different hypotheses different assumptions okay Every one of us thought about it in a different way. Some of us, of course, thought in, in the same way. But I mean, among us, we had different opinions, okay? Different ways of learning. Someone can learn from these examples something that others didn't see, okay? Of course, there are common, like bird or not and flying or not. There are less common, like maybe the mammals. There are rare, 
لايك باك جراوند ان فوكس اور نوت يعني اوف كورس ايم نوت ذا ون هو هو ديد ات بات بات ذيس از ريلي ريل نوت نوت ايفري بادي ويل اكشولي ليرن ذيس فروم ذيس اكزامبلز بات سام مودلز مايت سام مودلز مايت اوكي سو ذيس از ذيس از سمثينج ذات ان شاء الله وي ويل توك مور اباوت ات نيكست ويك نوت ان ذا نيكست ليكشر Okay, time is up uh, quickly. We didn't uh, really, uh, uh, I didn't feel it. Uh, so we'll have to stop here. Inshallah, next time I will uh, talk uh, more about the uh, the syllabus, about the, the content, and then we will start, inshallah, talking about the first learning model that we will cover uh, in this course, which is decision trees.